controlling the 11 rack from an Android device. So as you look here on screen, you may say, ah, that's just the 11 rack editor on your monitor. Well, let me pull out here. And you'll notice that's actually the 11 rack editor on an Android tablet, in this case a Kindle Fire, first generation Kindle Fire. You can see I can zoom in here to the editor, do all the things we can do on our computer. And there's also a screen capture of the 11 rack editor, which is recording what's going on on our actual desktop PC. So before you get too excited, this is not an Android 11 rack editor application that I'm using. What I'm using is an application that allows me to control my desktop computer from an Android device. And therefore I can control the 11 rack on screen editor from an Android device. So let's take a look at it. Right here is my 11 rack as you can see. On screen you're seeing the screen capture from my desktop and you're also seeing of course our Kindle Fire here. So take a look at our 11 rack. Here's our distortion and our mod. So we see here that the mod is not on. Let's pull this up and I can click here where it says mod. Turn that on. Notice how the light comes on on our 11 rack. Click it again, goes off, click it in comes back on. Of course we can do much more than that. So we'll just click here. We'll scroll this up in size a bit. We can change what is in our mod position. Right now we have a vibe phaser. So let's pull this up. We'll choose a multi-chorus. There we go. There's our multi-chorus. You can see it here on our Kindle Fire Android device. You can make changes here. Pull the rate down. Pull the rate up. All right. To our amp, let's say we want to choose a different preset here. We can do that. Go to the user. And here's our user banks. Okay, turn it this way. Maybe easier to see. So we'll just choose another preset and look at the 11 rack, and you'll see it will change presets as well. So we'll change our preset here. And there it goes. It's that fast. It's really cool. So the application I'm using to do this is called Splash Top. It's a very interesting application that will let you control your desktop computer, your laptop, from your Android device. There's no wires connected to this Android device at all. This is all wireless. So let's check out a few more things here. Here's our distortion. Again, looking on the 11 rack here. You see it's on right here is the distortion button if I click the distortion button it goes off of course it goes off click it again it comes on again I can do that from our Kindle fire here our Android device click that it goes off click that it comes back on of course we can change our distortion as well if we go to a white boost there's our white boost as you can see here so we can control everything right here from our Kindle Fire, as I've already shown. Let's control a few more things. We'll go down here to our master. See right now our master on our 11 rack is on about four. So we'll come back here. Let's scale this up. It's our master. We'll just double click, one, two, and then start dragging. See our master is going up and down on our 11 rack. See now it's all the way up to 7.6. I'm not sure how you can see that, but it's right there. Click it again, pull it down. Really cool stuff here. Come down here, say our speaker breakup, change the speaker breakup levels. Great. A microphone. Double click here. Choose a condenser 67. That's done. On axis, off axis right here. On and off. Very nice. Again, we can go through things like our parametric EQ here. Scale that up. Really cool stuff controlling your 11 rack right from an Android device. So you may be saying, what good is controlling your 11 rack from your Kindle Fire when you're literally sitting not even one foot away? Well, I guess you're right. It's not really that practical if you're going to sit this close to your 11 rack. But if you're sitting farther away, an application like this may be all you need to kind of control your 11 rack from an on-screen editor without having to be near your computer or near the 11 rack. So what we'll do is snap our fingers and instantly be transported all the way outside and we will control our 11 rack from outside of our studio and here we are outside so here we still have our Android device in this case a Kindle Fire 
and again we're outside you can see the grass there so we can control our 11 rack from outside completely outside the building that our studio is in so here we are let's pull this up let's uh turn the amp off turn the amp on turn the cab off turn the cab on Okay, we'll change our distortion type. We'll go to, uh, let's say, a black op distortion. Here's our black op distortion box. We can make adjustments to this, of course. Pull the knobs up and down. Really cool stuff. We can, of course, change presets again all the way from outside of our studio. So we'll click here and choose another preset. Go to the user banks, and let's say, let's choose something else here, M2, so there we go, there's our M2, ASA M2827, very cool, all using splash top on our Android device controlling the 11 rack we can make changes on Pro Tools here again all the way from outside of our studio we could do something like a uh, load in a plug-in we could change our inputs and outputs all from our Kindle tablet really cool but that's a completely different video right now we're just looking at the 11 rack so there it is, splash top on your Android device controlling the 11 rack. Really cool. Grab a flanger here. There's the flanger. So definitely check out splash top. It's a really cool application.